Hello everyone, Toby's here and in this video we will be spinning the lucky wheel, we'll be talking about the new artifact and we'll be talking about the upcoming new prism combos and the upcoming new rewards from the black market. So hang on with me and uh, let's get started basically. So let's see what's the wheel of fortune offering today. Alright, so it's a Gan skin. Honestly, I'm not too hyped about Gan skin because there is already a Gan skin and that I have. Um, would be nice if they actually introduced like a new skins for the heroes that doesn't have any skin like uh, Tiadrin, poor Tiadrin. So it would be nice. Yeah, this one gives magic and command. So let's see the um, the full rewards. So this is the artifact that we're gonna talk about. I read it briefly, but we're gonna look into it into details. I'll tell you my opinion, which the best suitable hero for it. Twenty spins is whatever. Divine egg. Right. Okay. Yeah, divine egg and 40 is whatever. I'm 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 more hyped about this mount uh, actually. The panda mount looks nice. We'll get it and we will see it. This is a nice portrait as well. It looks nice, but we'll see. What do you have here? So probably I'm gonna go 190. You know, there there used to be days where I used to spin 1,000 times and 500 minimum. I I don't know, but these days are long gone now. I did make one purchase for the tickets, but uh, it's, it's only one and it gives uh, 6,000 Lenari as well, so it's a, it's a good value for 30 tickets. So yeah, I have 31 tickets, we're gonna spin 190 uh, times. Let's get started basically. There you go. Okay, we got one Divine Egg right away. You know, hopefully we can make a perfect new dragon. I still want to make this physical uh, Azure dragon. I'm gonna make it one day. All right, let's go. So do you have a lot of um, rune stones? You know, actually, I'm so close into hitting uh, Temple Eight on my uh, Emperor statue. So maybe we can do it together at the end. We'll see if there is enough or not. There you go. And all right, nothing too crazy. Still, also need a lot of XP cards because I'm getting closer to the tier 16 Rogue and Mech. And this is going to be a huge boost, uh, you know, boosting uh, Nora 5 levels, Basric 5 levels, and all of these good things. Let's go. 10 more. Alright, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Let's see. Ooh. So these things, are, I, I think it gives like, this is like equivalent to 50, is it? Yeah, I think this one is 50 and, and sometimes it turns red, I think because of the multiplier, I, I had it in the last uh, Lucky Wheel, but we'll see. I'm not too, you know, it's not a big deal for me. We'll see, what you have. oh, another one, okay. There you go, let's go. Come on, give me the skin. Even though it's a gun skin, but whatever. No, actually, I don't want the skin, you know, whatever. I don't want the skin. Alright, there you go. Another Divine Egg. Alright. Okay, I don't want to get carried on. Let's see how many I spent. 100 already. Oh, yeah, that's very fast. Okay. One more. Let's go. Actually, nine more. Alright, one, two. Oh, this thing. Three. Okay. Four. Oh, uh, five. Ten hours. It's not bad. I need a lot of these, actually. Yeah. Oh my god, give me that thing. 20 hours, 26, 28, that's a day and, and more. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, you know, it's, it's strange sometimes in, I don't know, in general in video games, when you talk about something, it happens. It's like, I don't know, they, they hear you or something. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Okay. This one is good also. I like it. Oh, there you go. We got the old man. All right, would be nice to see it as well. Okay, let's see how many I spent. 180. Well, what is this? Blood flame, uh, lucky sage. Yeah, that would be nice actually, but no, whatever. So one more. That's the last one. Let's go. Okay, doesn't matter, right? We got the old man. All right, so what do we have here? Yeah, let's collect the things. And uh, yeah, let's get all of these good things. Ooh, we got the the panda as well. Uh, yeah, this is this is a good wheel for me. 190 check finish. We good. 
Okay, so what I want to do, okay, we got antique show, shop as well, or show. So first, let me get these. I always get these too. I like them, you know, for hours, for hours. And let's see, what, what should we get? Before we do that, let's let's look into the artifact, right? Oh, we got the Mines of Fortune, the Mines of Mayhem. I'm not going to do it. It's, it's not it's not a suitable time for me now. All right, so let's check the skin first. Use. Mm hmm. He got a funny eyebrows and a, a very curious look. I like it. Being the supremacy gun rises upon the clouds adorned in blazing gold. All who meet him are blessed by his presence. Thank you very much. All right, let's see this panda thing. All right. Uh, carefree golden panda is also the region's apex predator. Oh, uh, well, what is a predator? Gonna, I'm just going to mount you. All right, let's uh, check the, this one as well. Ooh. So what are these things? Clouds and dragon things? It's a very uh, Chinese theme. I like it. Pretty cool. Uh, what do you want? Let's see the eggs. And so many goodies. Ooh. Two as well. I like. This one is whatever. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to open the, the rune stones. Yeah. Let's see the rune stones. So many boxes, man. I'm hoarding so many boxes. I'm saving them for... Uh, for a lumber event and maybe I will post a video on, on unpacking basically but yeah gotta love having a lot of goodies all right yeah we're gonna need these anyway uh, we'll, we'll check if it's a pay to win or a free to play artifact I'm guessing it's pay to win for sure I mean, you know we know they live they like money so 3500 all right i gave up on these to be honest like look at them i'm, I'm not even using them because if i have i have my gears on 35 mb if i'm gonna go to 40 it's like too much like it's, it's just too much so i'm just like leaving it naturally well, why, why am i attacking these not now let me just do the yeah let me just look at the first artifact. let's go one by one okay let's go to the artifact so here is my my idea about the artifact. I am thinking, or I'm let's say I'm leaning toward giving it to our bartender, Solaris, because look at it. Let's read it. What is it? This one, the claw, equip. Because as you saw, I was giving him the shell, and it's uh, the shell is very flexible. You can give it to any hero, so it, it wouldn't really matter. But here. If we can read this artifact, one star, dark power, okay, increases attack and accuracy by 1% per 1% of health the wearer has lost. Alright, so it potentially can go to up to, what, 99%? That's 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 the reason I chose Solaris, because remember the um, health pardon, whatever it's called, and uh, makes him invulnerable for 12 seconds, so that's, that's my logic behind it. But let's see, let's see, uh, two star. Demonic set increase the attack and accuracy bonus from 1 to 1.5. Alright, that's even better. Alright, so 3 stars where it becomes demonic under 25% health, permanently gaining 6% attack speed and 4% damage mitigation. Stacks up to 10 times. Demonic states removed if the health recover. Okay. 4 stars attack speed increase. Oh, and there is a lot of math going on here. And uh, to 10% to yeah to 10 per second and damage mitigation from 4 to 7. Okay, so it's just basically a better version of, of the 3 stars. What about 5 stars? Double the attack and accuracy bonus granted. Oh, I'm not going to do all the math now in my head. It's just too much. Receive 70% life steal. And man, this, this could be something. Huh? So here is my, my initial thoughts. Is what, what if we give the dark claws to our bartender and then we also give him the clash of fate set all right the clash of fate sets is said what gain two percent damage and one attack speed per second during battle so could it be could it be that's the thing that's gonna make solaris like uh you know da real damage dealer let's give it a try what do we have to lose remember it's a game you have nothing to lose so where is the the weapon Maybe I can also make them flawless or something. I have uh, 
what do you call it? The um, renowned thing is, is ready. Okay. I'm gonna give it a try like this. We'll see. It looks interesting to me. And let's see if it's pay to win or. Uh, of course, pay to win. Yeah, of course. Oh, I have a lot. Since when do I have that much? All right, we're gonna level it later. We're gonna do the whole thing later. But for now, what I wanted to show you. What do I want to show you? Yeah, I want to show you the skin. Character. Mr. Old Man, let's go. Oh, it doesn't ride a mount. What a shame. But that, that, that dragon thingy. What is it? Is it like a Chinese festival happening right now or something? Gotta love it, to be honest. It's, it's, it's something. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping the old man for a couple of days. But let's check the mount. Huh? I want to check the mount. Uh, the panda mount. Let's go to our original. The dark duelist. I always use this one. Gotta love it. Let's check the mount. Where is it? Mm, probably missed it. Let's, let's, let's watch closely. There you go. Golden panda. Oh, is he sleeping? Yeah, he's sleeping. <laughs> so, what a what a nice mount to just like taking a nap. It's cool, to be honest. It's really cool. I mean, uh, why did they make Gan cannot ride a mount? Would be really nice to have these two, like you know, completing the theme basically. All right, what do we want to do now? Yeah, I want to check the temple. Would be nice if we can hit uh, Temple 8. So what do we have here? We have some announcement or what? what? Talking about announcement actually. So, so yeah, this is the patch notes. Okay. Yeah, this is the one we're going to talk about, the patch notes. So, um, talking about announcements. Guys, I cannot tell you how many people messaged me asking me about how to participate in the Toby Nation wheel. And honestly, it's a slightly disappointing for me because I posted an announcement video. It's only one minute, 40 something seconds. It's, you know, it's, it's nothing. It's one minute. So I, I expected a lot of people to watch it. If the people are regular viewers of, of this channel and, uh, you know, I have a lot of plans for this channel. So, you know, I expect people to, you know, watch me on a regular basis to understand what we're doing and all of that thing instead of, you know, having individual messages asking me how to participate, how to do that. And when I posted an announcement video explaining everything in, in one minute. So yeah, guys, if you want to participate in the Toby Nation wheel, let me basically redo the announcement now. And uh, you just write hashtag giveaway in the main video, which is Saturday, which is this video. So I post every Saturday, I post a video. Uh, it's going to be like a lengthy video. It's many, not, not less than 15 minutes uh, every Saturday. And every Tuesday, I you know take whoever writes uh, hashtag giveaway i take their name put them in my toby nation wheel and i spin the wheels get some codes and distribute the codes so far we, i gave away 15 codes to people and, and you know uh, one person actually won two codes in two different weeks so you know if you keep participating you can win and and it's it's really adds up you know uh, you're getting 300 linari here 300 linari there you know and it adds up it's good it's anything for free is good why not sure all right so yeah all right, so we're back to the temple. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if I can hit temple uh, temple eight. I'm very close. So, oh, this one is not close actually, but you know, we're getting there. No, actually, it's not. I don't think I will. I have actually no. This one is not. This one is already eight. I have a lot of uh, stored boxes. Uh, the the one you select which one you want. So I was thinking if I can get these. Uh, three ready then I can just select the these two and, uh, and Get it ready to eight basically so you can see here What is the custom boxes this one see I got a lot of these so I'm guessing you know it should be enough All right for now. Let's go back to the to the patch notes All right, look at that thing a symphony Hero bonus. Uh, so what is this? It's a trinket from Black Market. Conjures a great orchestral movement every 10 seconds, granting a 15% attack speed bonus to a random friendly unit group for 5 seconds. And cannot be stacked. I like this one, having like throwing one of them, like in... Um, what's her name? Elena or something. You know, granting 15 attack speed boost for uh, snipers or something. It's a friendly unit. Doesn't say friendly range units, uh, so maybe it's not that worth it to be honest. Uh, so it's every ten seconds and lasting for five seconds, meaning like, you know, almost half of the battle. If the hero is alive, yeah, 
could be something. It's not a, it's not a, you know, it's not nothing too crazy. Would be nice to see if the flawless stats, how much it, it would be, and then we can decide. Let's go to the other one, second one. All right, so we have here Dragon Lance. Hero bonus, each melee attack reduces the evade chance of nearby enemy melee troops by 3% for 5 seconds. Can stack to 5 times, meaning 15% reduce the evade. But the, re the thing that I don't like about here is each melee attack. So, I don't know. This one, maybe, if you ever gonna use it, it's probably gonna be Denji, I'm assuming, because his melee attacks hits multiple targets. Maybe Bane, but I will, you know, I'm not really leaning toward this one as much because, you know, it's melee attack and it may be difficult to, to get it to work. But my first two candidates are Bane and, and, and uh, Denji. We'll see. Let's go to a third one. So we have here Frigid Battle Axe. This one, the one I like. The wearers begin the battle by striking the ground with a great war axe. Reducing the attack speed of all enemy units within a frontal cone by 30%. Debuff weakens by 3% every second, so in 10 seconds it will fade. But uh, two interesting parts here. The frontal cone, how how how, how big is it? What's the wide? What's the what's the length? And all of that. Um, what's the width? And and if, if it's if it's you know either way, I think it's good. Like if you distribute, let's say two of these or three. Or whatever four you know you're gonna make them you're gonna be like a silk player with the mana worms right i like this one and i'm, I'm definitely gonna use this one and uh, also the, the stats are, are nice you know no magic no all of these things that i don't like all right let's see the new prisms all right so we have here what do we have uh spirit fracture hero bonus attack plus six so this is probably gonna go up to 40 something at level seven and uh, ordinary attacks from summoned units have a 5% chance, this one also will increase, we're not sure how much, of reducing the target's attacks by 25 and accuracy by 25 for 5 seconds. So this is crazy good. And, um, you know, the candidates, number one candidate, and, and the first thing that comes to my mind is Ophidia. Her snakes are gonna do what the hell, it's so good. And uh, you could also go with uh, Myra, her... Uh, what do you call it? Her summoned uh, big hands could be something. Also, our friend uh, Fenris. But Fenris, you know, like you don't really get to control who to attack uh, the wolves. Even the hands of Myra. Even um, if you ever play Sprig as well, he summons those small things, small archers. But yeah, you know, I get. I'm guessing this one should be or should goes into Ophidia. So you get to, you know, target where you want to reduce their attack and accuracy. I like this one. I'm definitely going to use it. And and I think definitely everyone should use it on, um, initially on Ophidia. We'll see. Let's see a second uh, combo. Phoenix. Max health plus 6% percent for whatever reason. The wearer sacrificed 40% health for one Phoenix shield. Oh, you know, it would be interesting to see what's the scale and what's the meaning of all of this when you level it. What is it like? How many shields gonna be or and all of that? Each shield can ward off one attack, dealing damage equal to over eight percent of the max health. Man, they like this. Like uh, they reminding me of like uh, you know solving engineering problems. Like they they like to complicate if this and that and this and that. Anyway, and permanently increases damage mitigation by five percent and evade chance by five. When triggered. Now, how are you supposed to understand all of this and like and put it into a concept and 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 see how can you maximize it? It's really so much situational uh, situation basically. Anyway, this is not bad, and 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 the whole thing about calling it Phoenix and Phoenix Shield and all that. So this is basically what you know when I uh, in the Prism Combo video when I mentioned it's uh, with the the recently released free-to-play artifact that uh, scales with the max health and gives shield to the range heroes and all of that. You know, I, I was, uh, you know, I mentioned two two prism combos that are suitable that increase the max health of the hero and give them shield and all that. But this one, I think, is a better version. So they, they, they released this one with 
with the last artifact. They, I think they go together. So I'm gonna use this one on Jax because I gave the the artifact that protect or, or buffs the range heroes. I gave it to, to Jax because I must use Jax. He's a, he buffs the mechs and all of that. So yeah, I'm gonna use this one on Jax instead of the one that I have now, which increases max health as well. And all of this shenanigans on the bottom seems good. All right, let's see the last uh, prism combo. Shamanic or shamanic. Yeah, shaman from the shaman. Okay. Increase attack and health of all non-dragon friendly units. I like this one by default. And buff a random friendly unit group whenever the hero casts an active ability. It reduces damage taken by melee units by 5%. And this is going to increase. And increase the attack speed of range units. So I'd see. That's I like because it's specified for my snipers by 5% this is said attack speed yeah attack speed for 12 seconds can be stacked three times no no here's what you can do you can either give this one to Ophidia to control when you want to to you know do it but as we said the other one is better on Ophidia and I'm, I'm guessing the best approach on this give it to Roxas and you know once you start your lanterns you know get it out of the way you're doing your lanterns and you're buffing your snipers and all that. So yeah, I, I will just throw it on, on Raxus. Would be nice. So, so yeah guys, this is this is what I have. Let's go back to the game. Let's see if there is anything I can... Yeah, let's go back to the game. Let's see if anything I can you know, add into this. Should we open... Let's open eggs. Yeah, everyone likes to open eggs. Maybe, maybe if I do it in, in a video, I will get a hero pred Azure Dragon. Because it's been forever, you know. I, give me one. Give me one already. Like, look at this. I'm not opening the Onyx because my Onyx is perfect. And I don't, I don't want. I'm going to open just the blue and the red. Let's go. Watch the undead. Oh, hero pred. Let's go. Should I roll it on the video? Let's roll it on the video. Why not? Right? Yeah. So what I'm what I want to roll is I want to roll this one. I'm trying to do the physical here. Physical dragon, I mean. Alright. Imagine if we do it. This one. Probably is gonna replace the hero pred, but yeah, exactly. I mean by now we're used to this. I mean Lilith, if you're watching this, we are tired of this. Like it's been three years when we're replacing hero pred. There are more hero preds being replaced more than you know, more than anything. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, yeah, I'm just you know, this is this is nothing nothing uh, nothing new to be honest. It always happens. And uh Mac with this. Last one. It's probably gonna be this one is undead, undead pred. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Yeah, this should do it. This should do it, and this should do it for the video, guys. Make sure to write hashtag giveaway to participate in the next Tobination Lucky Wheel, uh, as I mentioned. And uh, until next time, guys. See ya.